Hi, I'm Karen Motsi here with the Windsor News. News. And the American Eagle Fleetwood Motorhome. 40 feet long with a car on the back. Beautiful, isn't it? Rick and Peggy. Rick and Peggy, which are the Macholsky's friends, they used to live in Ohio with them, own this master. We are now going to get a tour with them. In the moment, you can see that they're unhooking the car right now. Here's our friend Bradley Bo Baker. Hi, I'm Cameron Butson once again. This is the mother home, and you can see there's people looking at it, and we'll get the live tour in just a few moments. Watch out. And there's the guy who owns that motor home. And his wife is inside. Once again, I'm Karen Bledsoe with the Windsor News Motorhome Tour. Something has hit Windsor Creek. As you can tell, it is a motorhome. Diesel engine, 150 gallons water to 100, oh, actually, it's 150 gallons fuel and 120 gallons water. And there's the entrance to this thing right here, as you can see. And there's storage in the stairs. Talk about 40 foot long. Thank you for more tours. Right now, we're just trying to pull in this giant goddess. As you can see, she's having to back up and use a rear view camera. It is a, um, it would be really Black nice water. if we could uh, get a tour, which is, will happen in a few moments. We're still gonna get a little bit more live coverage. As you can see, it's trying, having a hard time getting in. We'll be back with the tour next. Ready, set, go. Emergency, we just hit the mailbox. Just hit the mailbox. We just spoke with him earlier. He's never hit anything in his career of driving. We will now show you the dent on the side Go close up, car. come on. Oh, get it. Great. I actually got Dad, the water. It's not so clean. Wait, get out of the way. No, oh, you, you know, that. if you had it good, if you went straight back. Bad scratch. Yeah. Tragedy stretch Windsor Creek once again. Great. See the mailbox. And now let's see how bad the mailbox got its damage in. Wait. Hey guys, hey guys, out of the way. Oh, he, he did nothing. Talk. Luckily, he just got in. He's pulling into the driveway, and we're ready for our tour. So let's hit the road. The tragedy that happened here is this. Hi, I'm Cameron Blessing. As you can see, the marks right here that happened. Only thing that happened to the mailbox is right there. And and one more sm minor detail. This is scooted over about as big as my microphone right here. And then over here you can see all of that. All right. And now we're ready for our live tour. Okay. Hi, I'm Cameron Bledsoe here with the Casey Fogg. Uh, one of the owners of this floating goddess. Casey's a really friendly guy. I'm Cameron Bloodstone here with the Windsor News. Right here we have a, a portable computer record, a nice laptop, uh, and we have a TV, a backward TV, and we'll show you the camera in a little bit. This is a black and white monitor. There's a camera in the back, so when he's backing up, he can see where it's going. And per, um, as you can see, Casey has his own little bed down there. Okay. Nice and fuzzy. And now we're going to go over to the kitchen. Wait, first sofa and all the sofa. And here's the sofa with Rick, the cameraman, which uh, mom on it. Oh, and here's Casey as a puppy. And the air conditioning control and all the light switches, the ceiling fans, things like that. And here's the convectional oven, which means that you can put it on 300 and it would magnify about another 100 by itself with the metal. A sink that has fold up and fold down. So you can have extra cutting space or anything like that. Drawers, plumbing, an, um, an oven. And then here's um, Casey's water bowl. And here is... We'll have to get this later, but it's the, the portable pantry. Refrigerator. And a freezer. Hey, Miss um, Miss Peggy. And then right here we have a washer dryer combination. Yeah. Well. 
more storage in here. Miss Peggy, can you show us the portable pantry? Don't touch anything, guys. You know. And here's the king's chair. Toilet. It's really nice because you have your toilet in there with water, pretty much everything inside. And if anything gets stuck, you can spray it off right there. And you have a foot pedal to flush it. And you have bath lights and everything in there. Wait, there, Vince. Can you show us? May you show us the um, portable pantry? And then we will watch um, the owner of so the, the pantry. Now Rick made these for me. They just had the them. wire things and he made the wood for me. Perfect. And the owners made the wood for that. Mom. And now we'll go into the shower. <laughs> it has the full shower, a seat. Wow. A shower, um, it has all your, uh, all your, um, your cleaner, and then you have a skylight okay. at the top. <laughs> Engines under the bed, and then you this have, is safe uh, under the bed. You don't even bed. feel like you're in a motorhome when you're here. Chris, get up the and then right here. You have a sink with water and everything. Um, your toothbrush, water pick, paper towels, medicines, shavers, everything like that. And they've put in um, pictures of customized. Because the cash makes it. And then right up here, you have a fan for like, the hot summer. And you can see along the floor where there's the air vents, and you have nice ceilings. And now we're going to go see, get a, get a massive bed. Okay, hold on. Here's a full picture of the room. Mirror. 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 Right. Now go give a tour of the master bedroom. Like, yep. Your mattresses. <laughs> we have a stowaway. You can take this. One. And here is your bed, full of all the comfort you need. Watch out! Watch out! It's a select comfort bed, which means you can have an. It's an air bed. And right here, I'm not like, oh, this is the air pump for each side. And here you have a, a drawers. And then you open the blinds, and you can see outside. This is very nice. Very nice. Okay. And over here. And then you have a mirror and extra storage up there, and you have little lights up here. This is the big news. Knock somebody's mailbox. Wait, wait, wait. Can I demonstrate the lights and how they work? Yeah, the switches right here. You'd be better off doing it later. Okay. We can actually. Can we show the safe? Or the safe? Mood light. Come here. What? You got here. Can we see the safe? They're kind of hard to see. What? The safe. Oh, who's that guy? It's a car. That's, uh, that's our grandson. And that's the grandson. Oh, no, that's who we just came to. Yeah. And under the bed, you have engine where you can uh, open up a pamphlet where you can see the engine. And there's a safe under there also. Thank you. We'll have more touring tonight. Bye. Hello, I'm Rick Michalski here, here to interview Rick Michalski Sr., hockey player. And I'm going to ask him some questions and he'll answer them. Come on, Rick Michalski. Yeah, well, glad to be here. Thank you. All right. Um, can you tell us about your career and how have you played hockey? Have you had any in in injuries and that kind of stuff? Well, I started playing hockey when I was very young, um, back back home in Canada, you know, with all my friends back up there where it was real cold and uh, played a lot of hockey and didn't have any injuries when I was young. Had one injury uh, when I started playing hockey a couple of years ago. Uh, hurt my knee, but got over it and everything's fine now. Thank you. All right, and how many goals do you predict that you scored? Well, last last season I, I scored, uh, I think I had 37 points. I had uh, 24 goals and 13 assists, if I remember right. Um, of course, the most important goal was the, the game-winning goal in the, in the league championship. Um, that, was a, that was a pretty fun goal. Thank you. How do, how do you think you score most of your goals? Do you wrist shot them, slap shot them, snap shot them, or what? Well, I, uh, I've been known to do the wraparound. The wraparound's one of my favorites. And uh, then when I come in on the short side, uh, on my wrong hand, and uh, fake them out and make the goal. That's nice. And um, one more question. Do you enjoy playing hockey a lot? Like, can you tell us how you enjoyed and like what 
you know, like, how do you enjoy it? How do you, how do you enjoy it? How do you, you how did you become interested in it and all that stuff? Well, growing up in Canada, everybody played hockey, and of course, uh, that's how I became interested in it. And uh, so now I love playing hockey and uh, get to uh, do it every Sunday. <laughs> and uh, Sundays are great, and uh, of course, we got the new team, and uh, quite frankly, the new team sucks, but uh, I think we'll do fine. Thank you for coming here. Bye. And that's a wrap. Well, that's